It's Saturday morning. It's pretty early in the morning. It's just after 7 a.m. here. We're heading into the French Quarter to have breakfast at a place called Café Fleur de Lis. It sounded pretty good. It's 82 degrees. It, Josh is saying it's 82 degrees <laughs> already at 7 a.m. It's definitely humid. I'm getting more used to the humidity. Um, if it stayed like this all day, that would be fine. It's just going to go up about 10 more degrees before the day is done. We're going to have some breakfast and then we're going to catch up with our tour to go through a cemetery, talk about voodoo, and uh, what was the last part of that? The French Quarter. It's going to probably start in the French Quarter, do some stuff there. Come along with us today. Okay, so I got a chai tea latte, Josh got a coffee. I mean, I know that we've been complaining about how warm it is, but this just sounded good for breakfast. So this is the oh, upstairs of Cafe. They just have stuff on the wall. There's also a downstairs area, and then there's an area oh, back over there too. But everything here is kind of like New York, where it's all long and thin, essentially. Very few places are huge. I ordered the shrimp and grits because I love shrimp and grits. Now I've discovered in my old age that I like shrimp and grits. Josh got the pecan pancake. Oh, this looks amazing. I can't wait to dig into this. Ah, done with breakfast. Shrimp and grits, amazing. Uh, some of the best shrimp I've ever had. The grits are, you needed some hot sauce and some pepper, but they were good otherwise. But the, the shrimp was amazing. And then Josh had the pancakes. What did you think of the pancakes? I liked them quite a bit. Uh, I, I had never had pecans and pancakes before. They worked very well. They're a little bit sweet, and they had a different texture to it. So it was yeah, I always thought pecans and maple would go well together, and they do. Yes. Mmm. Um, very good breakfast. Okay, on to our tour. Forgot to mention the cost. So I got a chai tea latte. Josh got a coffee. They were two seventy five, three seventy five each. And then my shrimp and grits were thirteen dollars. Josh's pancakes were eight dollars. Not bad. All together is about thirty one with tax. This is what Bourbon Street looks like after a Friday night. I mean, at least people tried to put stuff near the trash. I guess probably filled up a bunch of trash cans over here, but there's still junk all over the ground. This gorgeous building in the middle of the French Quarter is the Supreme Court of Louisiana. Wow, look at that architecture. It's beautiful, gorgeous. And they have nice grounds as well. It's interesting that amongst all these you know, old buildings and stuff, I mean, this is probably an old building too, but it's uh, gorgeous looking. I didn't take any video on the tour because I didn't think that was cool since you know, they do this for a living but I did take a lot of pictures. to a place, Nola Po' Boys. We got a shrimp po' boy. This is the fried shrimp, which is the traditional kind. 
we got a 12 inch and then we're splitting it. And then we also got red beans and rice, which uh, looks pretty good. Josh, what do you think? That's good. <laughs> good. That's good. I'm looking forward to trying some. Ooh. I'm not usually a bean person, but I do like red beans and rice. I don't know what's in there. Right, I've had a bite of this already. It's really good. So this sandwich was, how much did it say? 16. 16, and the red beans and rice was about seven. Seven. We're heading into Cafe Lafitte's in Exile, the oldest gay bar in the U.S. for cold drinks and cold AC. I ordered an Amaretto Sour, Josh got a vodka tonic, and you know the best part of this is the cold AC right now. It's hot again, like it, we expected it to be. Once again, the heat and humidity sapped our strength, so we uh, went back and rested for a couple hours throughout the hottest part of the day. Now it's about 5.15 or so. And we're gonna take the uh, trolley, the streetcar, kind of close to where this one ends because there's this area called Magazine Street that's away from the French Quarter, more in the Garden District that we wanted to take a look at. We've heard good things about. Uh, so we wanna see what's over there, kind of get away from the French Quarter for the evening. We might end up back there, but we'll see. I forgot to video the food itself, but we got the, uh, we went to Juan's Flying Burrito, which is Creole Mexican at the same time. We got the flying enchiladas, which was shrimp and chicken and steak, steak all together, uh, covered enchilada, served with rice and beans, delicious. It was delicious. Um, it was $12. We also got- Very reasonable. Incredibly uh, The chips and, salsa. chips and salsa. That was $3. And we were commenting how much steel. the chips, how good the chips were. And the salsa was very like pico de gallo, very thick. And that was also very fresh too. So yes, we recommend this place. Deal. This across the street here is Lafayette Park. Or Place Lafayette. We were just talking about how there's a very funny Eddie Izzard uh, bit. Thank you, Josh. Bit about Lafayette and how uh, the English are always bad guys in films. And... Uh, the French aren't usually, and it's because of Lafayette. And he talks, starts talking about it and looks at the crowd and says, you have no idea who he is, do you? <laughs> anyway, if you can look it up, it's pretty funny. And uh, so the Supreme Court was here, but I guess the uh, Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals is also here. I don't think I knew that. Maybe I did at some point. Lots of litigation going on in Louisiana. A famous museum in New Orleans, which we hear good things about. We haven't gone, but we hear good things is the National World War II Museum. It looks like a whole complex because you've got this here in a walkway. There's another area over here where this is the museum store. And then if you look across the street, there's the restoration pavilion that's part of it as well. Oh, and there's a soda shop at the National World War II Museum. That is pretty cool. It's Sunday morning, we're starting our day at the Houdat Cafe, which is not too far from where we're staying. We didn't realize that they don't start serving breakfast until 8, it's about 7.40 right now, which is fine. Uh, we're just going to sit here and Josh is having coffee, I'm having a steamed milk, I'll probably have a chai. It's a really nice cafe actually, we're, we're sitting inside but there's some outside tables as well. Here's the menu. We're either gonna split the Not Your Mama's Corn Cakes or the Demandville. We're trying to decide. Both of them sound really good. Here we are at the docks getting ready for our swamp boat tour. You can see airboats behind us. I don't think we're on an airboat. I think we're on a pontoon boat. Uh, so we can leisurely go through and hear about the wildlife and such. We met a really nice couple from England who's here. You can see there's a bunch of people behind us that are gonna be going. We had to drive about, I don't know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes to get here. So we're 35 minutes south of the city. And then uh, we're looking forward to seeing what we can see on this trip. I've never been to a swamp before, so I thought this would be kind of nice. And even though it's, you know, warm and humid, it doesn't seem as bad today. We decided to do the morning one because I thought it would be better than, say, the one at noon, which would be really, really hot. So let's see what kind of 
animals and plant life we can see. I like these, uh, this gator bench. And this is our boat, pontoon boat. Nice. There's a smaller one over there. I'm not sure which one we're going to be on. But this is what the pontoon boats look like. It's pretty busy. I mean, if I look around here. So this is the Louisiana Tour Company. It got it off of Groupon. So we had to go over there and get uh, turn in our Groupon to get the tickets. There's a little uh, snack shop over there too, souvenir snacks. And uh, then you come over here and this is the pontoon boat area. And over there where we were before, without realizing it, it was the airboat area. Now we're in the right place. Awesome. There you go, we're gonna take the picture of eating marshmallows. Every inch from the snout to the top of the eyes means that the alligator is that long. It can also, sorry, in feet, and it also has ear holes that it can close off when it needs to. They go out in the wild to find those nests I told you about. They go get a few wow. eggs out of each nest. They have about 40 to 60 eggs in there. It might take 12 to 15 if they're 60. Two and a half big alligators. It's already been skinned. It always has so, a tag. The one on honey it has to stay with it until it's done being used, yeah, and that's how they track it. Apparently, it's very heavily regulated. Wow, this feels great, actually. You can make you pants out of those, or more than likely shoes, or cases. visible to us and it's the largest, is it largest? Is it largest? 
He said this was the largest lake in Louisiana and it's only six feet deep. So if you were taller than six feet, you could walk all the way to Louisiana on the lake bed. I wouldn't suggest it though. Finished our tour and it was fantastic. I'm sure you saw some of the video of us seeing the gators and holding the little gator. It was uh, great actually. We passed some of the people on the airboats and as much as I like airboats and thrill rides, I liked just going around slowly and learning about 
the creatures and just the bayou itself and some history. That park was really nice. Now we are going to head back to town to have lunch. Uh, I have a list of places that um, a friend of mine who used to live in Louisiana, she, she compiled a list for me of some of the favorite places that she used to like to go to when she lived here. So shout out to Jasmine. I love you, girl. This is Orleans Parish. They don't use the term county here in, in Louisiana. They use the term parish. So this is technically we're in Orleans Parish after having left it for a swamp tour. Oh, hey, there's a World War II museum. So we were walking up and, hey, wait a minute. This is where we were This yesterday. is where we were right under by accident. Yeah. So now we know. <laughs> yesterday we were walking around. We're at a place called Cajun Seafood that was recommended to us. That's what the menu looks like. We got Cold Boys again, uh, hot sausage and shrimp. My friend Jasmine said that hot sausage was her favorite, so we're gonna give that a go. Just waiting for our food now. They also have like boiled food over here. Oops, that was my hand. And then they have stuff from the kitchen over here. And then they also have raw stuff in that case there where you can go home and make it yourself. So, pretty cool. It's very busy here. Very, very busy. We came to Louis Armstrong Park to enjoy the Cajun Zydeco Festival. Uh, Zydeco, it's a type of music. I'm sure I'll play some or, or later on when I film a few of the bands. So Louis Armstrong Park, which is really nice. We keep going by it, but we hadn't stopped yet. We knew this was going on this weekend. We figured we'd drop that by, but we weren't sure when we'd do it. Let's go look around. It's a number of tents selling merchandise. You can hear the music off in the distance. We're working our way that way. I wouldn't mind finding a cold drink like this guy has. And I figure out where he got that. Y'all feel all right? If y'all want someone with this good set, y'all gotta come all time. Yeah. 
It's a pretty cool water feature. It's got these parts that sort of spray up here, and then there's a little fountain down there. It's a really nice park. We're gonna wander around a little bit since we're already in the park. Away, a little bit away from the Zydeco Festival. We'll go back there. There's also a tent over here that's missing. We got a drink. It was $8 for this size. It's pretty good size. And it's, they took oranges and strawberries. There were different flavors. These are the ones we chose. Macerated and they put them, them. into um, a cup and just macerated them. Just squished them all down. And then add a little bit of sugar and some water and mixed it all up and then poured it into this. So it is very fresh strawberry orange juice over ice. They had a lot of as different cold as I'd like it to be. Yeah. They had a lot of other flavors as well. What was it? Lemon based, lime based. They had lemon lime and, and orange, based. orange based. And then you could have like blueberries, pineapple, strawberries, strawberries, watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, a lot something. of different flavors that you could put in there. In any case, it's very refreshing right now. Charles Buddy Bolden. Legendary instrument player. He is remembered to be the first king of jazz. It's a cool sculpture. This is the sculpture that's at the entrance of Louis Armstrong Park. It's very nice. It's two dimensional though, because if you see it from the side, it's very thin. They look good both ways. This is the cathedral that is on the other side of that park where we had pictures from the other day. It is the cathedral of St. Louis, King of France. And they have... Nice place. 
All right, if you've seen a lot of my videos before, you know that I love henna tattoos and that I'm not brave enough to get a real tattoo. So this time there's people doing henna out here in um, the French Quarter near the, uh, the, the church. And I pulled up this design. I'm like, hey, can you do this? And they did. And it was only 20 bucks. And I love it. <laughs> Obviously, if you know me, I like Mickey. This is the Mickey Sorcerer hat, just done up all stylized. I'm a big fan, so I gotta wait for it to kind of dry up and peel off and maybe find some uh, lemon juice along the way that I can put on it. This is almost a week later. It's Saturday now, and I got the tattoo on Sunday, but you can see that it still looks pretty good even a week later. So we find ourselves in Jackson Square, right connected to the French Quarter, and it says over here that this is the original location for the actual Louisiana Purchase, known as the Place d'Arme, until 1856, was established in 1721 by the French explorers. It shows a layout of the actual park itself. We did take some photos and videos, I believe yesterday, from this area as well. But wanted to give you a sense of where we are. Just doing a quick walk around the park, giving you a sense of where we are statue in the center, cathedral over there, quick pan around, so we actually took some video from over there yesterday when we were doing a walk along the river edge, and, Friday. oh Friday, okay. Days are beginning to blur. I know. <laughs> and that's got the cannon that I actually took a picture of and put up on Facebook myself. Pan around. Get a sense of all of this. Major General Andrew Jackson. Horses' legs up, died in battle, is that correct? I thought so. If both were up, they died in battle. That's what I thought too. Could be wrong about that, but that's what I think. If we're wrong, let us know. Tell us. Tell us in the comments. Yeah. We stopped at the gazebo, home of the original ice cream daiquiri. I didn't know ice cream daiquiris existed, but I do now, and they're the only thing I want in the world. I got banana flavored. Josh got peach. Those are two of our favorite flavors. They had lots of others. They had, um, you know, your typical strawberries and such. They banana had a split. pina colada, they had a banana split. Uh, she said you can mix flavors. She says she likes having her pina colada, but with strawberry. So there's a different combination. This is on Decatur Street, uh, not too far from Cafe Du Monde. The Gazebo Cafe. The Gazebo Cafe. And we really has some, it's really good. Yes. And I asked her for extra maritino cherries because <laughs> I love maritino cherries. And you can also hear the band, which is right next to me over here. So there's live music as well. We went to the Creole House restaurant and oyster bar, and I got the jambalaya, not the jambalaya, the um, gumbo. This is shrimp yaya, and Josh got the French onion soup. That looks really good. And then there's a... This is a blackened Caesar salad. Blackened Caesar salad, that looks really good. Is it blackened shrimp? Yes. Yeah, okay. And you guys got the... Boudin. Boudin. What is it? It's a head sausage. Oh, okay. And then the... Uh, Black and chicken Alfredo. All right. We're going to dig in. We met some people from my work uh, for dinner. So they're, they're in town for the conference they got in today. And now we are meeting some other uh, people from work here. We're at Pat O'Brien's. They're famous for inventing the hurricane drink, which I plan to have one tonight. And we're in the back area. Pat O'Brien's has a number of bars, I didn't know this. So here's the main bar in here. And then what you hear behind me is the piano bar. That sounds awesome. And then there's this area back here that has that fountain I showed earlier. Still looking for our friends. I'm sure they must be here somewhere or close. This is like the, the giant yeah. version of the okay. Hey, come back. My boyfriend said you won't drink it because he thinks you are worried. you're scared of germs. It's alcoholic. I don't like the hurt. I, I was never All right, give it a go. Yeah, yeah! Woo! 
Yeah, Ooh. we need to lose room. Yeah, oh, that's we good. like you. Yeah. Yes, drink as much as you oh, want. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. uh, don't be a little bitch. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> One, 11 hey. seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. This is the hurricane. It's the uh, drink that made Pat O'Brien famous. I don't know what's in it. It's very fruity. I like fruity drinks, so it's perfect for me. It's Monday morning. Essentially the last morning of vacation since Josh leaves today, and then I have to work this afternoon for the conference. We are heading to a diner called the Ruby Slipper Cafe for breakfast. And it rained today, I can, can't, I don't know if you can see from the rain slicked streets behind me, but it's nice, the humidity has dropped significantly. It feels really good this morning. I like to have more of this. I really like these trees, this flowering tree. This is what it looks like. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, please tell me in the comments. There's some beautiful ones here. We're walking under some along the way to breakfast. Here it is, the Ruby Slipper Cafe. Ooh, this nice doors. Wow. Beautiful. All right, here we go. We've read good things about this. Definitely want to try their breakfast. Here's the interior. High ceilings again. A lot of places here have them. Every place has a bar. Pretty crowded, you know, for being a Monday morning. Back in our room, that is the end of the fun part of the trip. After this, it's all work, 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 which I think is also going to be fun at the conference. And it'd be nice to see some people. My company's spread out across America, so it'll be nice to meet some people that I only know through IM or conference calls. Thanks for hanging in there. I hope you enjoyed the time in New Orleans as much as we did.